So here to show us how to get the trending look for less is Monique. She always has the best projects. Really, really good. So this is a lighting fixture that you saw. Yes. Okay, talk to me about it. Okay, so these light fixtures are very trendy. Mm -hmm. I love the natural fiber of the jute. Yes. They come in various different shapes and sizes. And so, and also they're available at different retailers online, right? Okay. They have a beautiful one that I fell in love with from Anthropology. So this like, is the one from Anthropology, absolutely stunning, yes. just under $300. Yes. So $298. Yes. So Monique looks at this and she says, I'm a stylish gal. <laughs> how cheaply can I do this a dupe? And how, and how much, this is the one you made. Yes, it is. Let's show them this because this is absolutely stunning. <laughs> she made that. And how much did you pay? $50 for everything. $50, yes. $300 to $50, yes. Yes. which is really good. Yeah. Okay, so let's walk through it. Okay, so the key to keep your costs low mm -hmm. is thrifting. Yes. You can also do this if you have a lampshade that you know you want to dress up at the house. Yeah. But if you want to go for that look, it's really good to go thrifting. Mm -hmm. And with this one that I duped, I actually found that was perfect because it was originally covered in ribbon. Okay. And so what happens is when you get these frames, these shades rather, mm -hmm. they have a ring at the top, but it's held together by this uh, plastic thingy, yeah. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Yeah. Um, and then it's, uh, it has its separate ring. So with that support wire in the middle, that helps when you wind. And you're gonna, we're going to do that a little bit later okay. in terms of winding around your jute. So okay. when you go thrifting, if you're not lucky enough to find something, you find something, you'll you most likely find something traditional like this. Right. Then you go ahead, um, it was wrapped in fabric. You can go ahead and rip the fabric off mm -hmm. just so you have a plain surface. This is is one that you're going to be working with as well. Okay, so you are dealing with jute. Yes. Right? Yes. So I have a darker shade here, lighter yeah. shade, depending on what your decor preference, you can go with that. And so to start off with this project, so all the shades have this little support ring in the middle, right? Right. So what you want to do is you actually want to tie your jute around the ring first. I'll try and do this in a way where you can kind of see it, but I'm see. tying it to the ring at the top, and yes. I'm trying not to get my chunky press-on nails <laughs> in the way here so you can see, but no worries. tie that. Yeah, you tie it tightly, and the reason why we tie Hold it there, because we want, as we're starting to wrap, we want to get a, a very tight pull, Yeah. and then once we're done and we wrap it all around, at the end, we can go ahead and untie it and just so secure it. So that's how that looks. Right. So we tied it to the, the top. The and top once of the it's yes. tied, we're going to wrap it around. Yes, eh? we're going to start wrapping it around. Okay. So you just take your jute and you just start winding around. So this is a great opportunity to turn on your favorite TV show that you need to catch <laughs> yes. up on. Yep. Uh, spend a couple hours, an hour or two, depending on the size. Now, the larger uh, pendant that I did, it took yeah. about a couple hours. I got through two shows with that. So with the smaller You're one. You're fast, <laughs> Monique. I feel like that's fast. Well, you, once you get to it, you like get a hang of it. And yeah. it's like second nature. You're watching the show. You're just wrapping it around. And even if you get it a little separated, that's fine. You could just go ahead and just push them together. Because okay. the key is that you want them fairly, you want your, your jute to be fairly close together, okay? I can see it being a little meditative after a while. Right, exactly. So once you're done wrapping, yeah. it's eventually going to look like that. Right. Okay, like Just that. Just pretend I did this. Yes. <laughs> there you go. ta -da! Right then. Done. All wrapped around, we're good to go. Yep. You can keep it like that if that's your decor preference, yep. but you know, of course, you got to add a little razzle dazzle. We want to add some tassels to that. So that's what yeah. you have here at the bottom. And right. how do you do that? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that together so okay. very easy to make so you just take a scrap piece of cardboard cut it into a rectangle yeah. uh, you measure based on the size of the tassel so with a larger shade you want to go with a thicker width of the uh, cardboard yeah. and then of course with the smaller one we have a thinner one right beautiful you go ahead and get your thread you can use wool I went with this uh, it's like a crochet thread I believe I found it's a little silky yeah it's silky and I liked how it looked I like the color and so then you just go ahead and you wrap it around Okay. Your cardboard, just wrap it around. You don't even have to be fancy. Like I'm literally like going like oh, this. Oh, okay, all right, Because right. it doesn't have to be neat. Right. Uh, I went around about 20 times for the pendant, yeah, and then about 15 times for the table lamp. Okay, so, so that's once you have it wrapped enough. around, yep. yeah, that's good. So when, so the next step, you just got to be careful. So the the end that you started off with, that's the end that you're actually going to end up cutting. Okay. So you're going to take your scissors, right? 
And then you're gonna go ahead and just stick your scissors through. Prettiest scissors I've yeah. ever seen, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I love these scissors. And then cut if they go missing, I'm just saying. And then <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead, cut your cut your thread. Yeah. And then you go ahead. So now you're gonna have some strips here, right? Yeah. Okay. So for the key for this particular, now I just I just you could do it however is more comfortable for you, but I found this to be the easiest for me just because we have so many tassels that we're working with. Right. Is that you want to then just get an extra uh, string and then tie it around one, just loop it through underneath one of the twines, right? right one of the jute. Like that. Yeah. And then you go ahead and that's where you have your knot. So I'm going to tie this to that guy. Right, exactly. Okay. So you just lay it in there. And you tie it. I know you have your nails there, so I'm going to do it. I'm doing it over here as well. Do you have nails? Oh, you don't. Oh, no, you're girl. So smart. I could not. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, do it. no, you can't. <laughs> as much as I love it, I'm just. I'm doing. I got so my much kids here. like buttoning my jeans for me with these nails. <laughs> so you tie it on there like that. So it's going to yeah. be in the middle. But all you got to do is just slide it all the way down. Look at Monique and right now. She's hanging. got it going on. Right. It's just hanging down there, like so. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yes. That's how it's going to look. Yeah. When I finally it's going to look like that. It. And then depending on how closely you want it, you just measure off. So you see when you tie the, the jute around, you could just grab how many pieces that you want and then separate it. I like to evenly space so it out. So you're going to do it like every 10. Yeah. Every 10. Right. Exactly. And Got that's it. how you can space your, your tassels out. So I'm just going to recap this brilliant project once again. This is the Anthropology Lamp, $298. Yeah. And mm -hmm. now look at what Mo made for $50. Yeah. Incredible. Yes. So